Time now is four minutes past six. Rachel, you have more now related to the post office scandal. Yeah, and that's because the BBC has got hold of some documents which show the government was complicit in a decision by the post office to sack the forensic accountants who'd found bugs in the IT system. A subcommittee of the post office board took the decision in April 2014, yet the post office kept the government's involvement in its secret and continued to claim the accountants had vindicated its Horizon computer system. Andy Verity has this exclusive report. The post office hired independent forensic accountant Second Sight to investigate complaints that its Horizon computer system generated false evidence of cash shortfalls used to prosecute sub-postmasters. Oh, my God. ...found evidence of computer bugs doing just that in 76 branches and told the post office in July 2013. But instead of coming clean, the post office kept insisting in public their system was robust while in private, it agreed a plan to take Second Sight off the case. This envelope contains documents that post office bosses didn't want you, the public, to see minutes of a subcommittee of a post office board that were kept from sub-postmasters as they fought their way through the courts. They were eventually released a few years later with heavy redactions. Look at those blacked out passages. I've got hold of the unredacted version and they show exactly what was going on and who knew about it. Spoiler alert, the government knew all about it. The minutes show Post Office Chair Alice Perkins, Chief Executive Paul Venels, and a government representative, Richard Callard, discuss Second Sight's independent role investigating sub-postmasters' complaints for a mediation scheme. Behind the redactions, it shows that in April 2014, they agreed a plan to continue to investigate cases, but to bring it within the control of the Post Office, cutting out Second Sight's independent role. And they reveal that post office bosses didn't plan to pay anything like the compensation sub-postmasters were claiming. In fact, only around a million pounds for all cases. Yet in public, the post office continued to claim Second Sight's review as vindication, saying it found no systemic issues with Horizon. In the meantime, you'll need to make good the loss. I haven't got that money. In a TV drama this month, false evidence had been used to prosecute people like Joe Hamilton. I mean, what's it all about? Do we live in a democracy or don't we? You know, and they've done some terrible things to people. Why they didn't just tell the truth and sort it out then, I do not know. To MPs who've campaigned for sub-postmasters, it again proves what they've long suspected. This was a government organisation being overseen by government representatives. And it's the government that has to take responsibility for everything that went wrong. It's a distinctly corrupt, murky story that goes right the way into government and it's deeply worrying. We contacted Alice Perkins and Paula Venels but didn't receive a response. Richard Callard and the government declined to comment while the inquiry was ongoing. The post office also declined to comment. Andy Verity, BBC News. The US state of Alabama has executed. David, just tell us why this execution is so controversial. Mm -hmm.